I'm Larissa from Beekeeping Made Simple, and this video is about adding room to your hive, adding boxes onto your hive, when to do it, how to do it, and whether you should be adding another deep, a medium, a shallow, and what to do if you have a flow hive and you don't have another deep to add onto your beehive. But first, before I get into that, I want to save you just a little bit of time. You do not need to watch this video if you've watched many other videos about this topic and you just are getting different answers and you're not sure which way to go. Anyway, it's fine. None of these things are going to cause severe harm to your bees. So this is one of those topics where you're going to get a lot of different answers and different people doing different things. And that's just because there's a lot of different ways to do it and almost all of them are fine. But you probably got your bees and you installed them into a deep box and it looks like this. You have your bottom board, your deep box, a lid on top, and you're starting to wonder, well, when do I do the next step and add that extra box? Well, we do have a link in our resources down below in the description of this video with our inspection sheet. And that can help you because when you fill it out, you'll see how many empty frames you filled out on your inspection. If you have two frames or less that are empty, you want to add another box on as soon as you can. If you have three or four empty frames, you probably have a few days to a week before you really need to add that extra box on. If you're finding this helpful, please hit the thumbs up because that helps me make some money on these videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified about new videos and when we go live. Now, when I see an empty frame, of course it could be empty like this one's broken, but absolutely nothing. Or you can just see that foundation sheet in there. But it could also mean that um, you put drawn out foundation in there or the bees have drawn out some honeycomb but there's no bees on it and there's nothing in the cells and the cells are empty that's empty also um, here's a photo of an empty frame uh, just a few bees walking around this would I would still consider empty and now here's a photo of a full frame of bees so when you have just one or two empty frames or no empty frames you're going to want to add another box on. Now how you do that is you're going to take off the lid, you're going to take your empty box, you're going to fill it up with empty frames, and you're going to put it on top. If your box holds eight frames, you want to put eight frames in. If the box holds 10 frames, you want to put 10 frames in. Later on, once the bees have filled up their frames with comb, they don't necessarily have to put something inside the honeycomb, but at least that there is comb drawn out. You can take one of those frames out. Maybe you just have a couple empty frames in there still. You could take one of them out and have nine frames in your 10 frame box. Space out the frames a little bit more so that it's easier to pry them out and get them out because it can be hard to get um, your frames out when you have 10 frames in a 10 frame box. But while the frames are still empty and the box is totally new, put 10 frames in your 10 frame box. This will prevent the bees from building honeycomb in funny shapes and crossing it over from one frame to the other. Something you really don't wanna to have to deal with and cut out. Now, one of the times when you really don't wanna give the bees too much space, cause really you could add two empty boxes onto the beehive if you really wanted to for some reason. But if your hive is still really small and they have four frames of brood or less, it's getting below 55 degrees Fahrenheit at nighttime. You don't want to be adding extra boxes onto the hive prematurely because once it's like 50 degrees and lower, they're still like getting into a little bit of a cluster and keeping warm. And you don't want to have to give them too much work to keep that brood warm inside this big hive. So don't be a little bit too eager to give them extra space until they're a little bit larger and more established. One tip you do not have to do, but if you want to, you can take some frames from the brood box your bees are in, the first one, and put some in your empty box. And take some of your empty frames in the box you're adding and put them in your first box with your bees. And what this does, you can put in just like one frame of honey. If you have at least two down here, leave a frame, at least one frame down here, but you can add a spare, this other frame of honey up here. 
or you can also take like two frames of brood, put them up here. Just make sure you have a frame of honey or drawn out comb on either side to sandwich them in so that they have some warmth on either side. And when you add some frames of drawn out comb or food or baby bees into an empty box, it just helps to bring the bees upwards. It doesn't need to be done. Um, the bees will come up and fill up the space when they need it, when this space is running out and they're bringing in lots of food and the queen is laying, but it can help to encourage them to build upwards a little bit faster. And again, the same thing, once this box has like two or three empty frames or less, that's when you wanna add your next honey super on top and you keep on adding more and more supers. You can even add your honey super with this empty deep box if you really wanted to and we're excited to build up your hive. Now, another question that people are that people have and can be confusing is should I be adding another deep, a medium, or a shallow? Now, in short, it's up to you. But if you are a beginner, this is your first year and you're still not getting the hang of things, I recommend keeping it simple and doing what most beekeepers do. There are a lot of different ways to do things, but what most beekeepers do is they have two deep boxes and then the rest are shallow honey supers. And so here are a few times when maybe you wanna do things a little bit differently. If you don't mind the extra weight, you can use two deep boxes and all mediums up above and that will give you an extra room for an extra 10 pounds of honey versus using all shallows. So if you don't mind picking up the heavier boxes, you can run two deeps and all mediums up above instead of shallows. Another option, which is common in Hawaii, is to run one deep and all honey supers up above that. And that is because there is no cold winter, there's no overwintering. Um, there will be brood in that first shallow box. So it would look like this, one deep box, and then all shallow honey supers up above. I know have brood in here. I know have a little bit of brood in here, and the rest is honey. And you can do that if you want to save yourself from lifting too much heavy weight because often the second brood box isn't going to be all brood. It's going to be some honey and some brood. And this box can get pretty heavy. So if you have a deep, it's going to get even heavier. Um, so if you're concerned about lifting heavy stuff, then you can run one deep and all shallow boxes above it. Uh, and if you live in a cold climate, I would go with two deep brood boxes and all shallow honey supers above it because when you get ready for winter and you're combining your brood, it's good to just have them all deep frames, all clustered together as opposed to having a mismatch of deep and shallow frames in your boxes. Now for those of you with a flow hive, you got one deep box and your flow honey super and that was it. So you might be confused as to whether you should be getting another deep box. And the answer is, yeah, you can get another deep box and run two deep boxes and then put your flow super on top. And you could get this deep box from anywhere. It doesn't have to be from the flow hive website. Um, and that makes it a little bit easier to prevent your bees from swarming, in my opinion, but you can also just leave it as is and when that first deep box is full put your queen excluder on and your flow hive honey super above that and that will keep your brood all in one box it will keep your queen just in that one box and your honey up above you just really need to keep an eye on them and make sure that when that box starts to get overcrowded you take some brood out and maybe split it or share it with another beehive that needs brood or you add another box on top and do something to prevent them from swarming that's the end of this video thanks for watching don't forget to check out our online beekeeping class at beekeeping made simple use promo code youtube35 for 35 percent off and we have the free resources with the inspection guide the getting started guide the identification guide and we also have a video that talks all about the boxes of a beehive to help you understand what's best for you, mediums, shallows, and deeps.